Hello, my name is Naomi Peralia and I am from Living Springs Retreat. I work in the kitchen and today we would like to share with you one of our favorite recipes, delicious homemade granola. So to begin with, let's start with oats. As you know, granola, that's the main ingredient. We have six cups of regular rolled oats and three cups of quick oats. We find that when you mix them, it just gives a nice consistency. So we always do some of both. And then I have nuts. We have three quarters of a cup of pecans, three quarters of a cup of almonds, and three quarters of a cup of walnuts. If you do not have all of these nuts, you can do all of one nut, or you can even put sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds in there as well, whatever you have on hand. And then I have a cup and a half of dehydrated coconut. Now I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together. Okay, now that they are all nice and mixed, I am going to add my wet ingredients. And my wet ingredients are one cup of extra light olive oil. And if you would prefer, you can do coconut oil, just um, liquefy it. Sometimes I find that the coconut could have a little bit of bitter aftertaste, but you're welcome to try that. And then I have a cup and a half of pineapple juice. And if you would also, if you don't want to have pineapple juice, you can also use orange juice. We sweeten it with maple syrup. And so I have a cup of maple syrup. And then we have a tablespoon of vanilla. And you want to use the pure vanilla. We have in the description below where you can order the vanilla that we use. We get it online and it is the non-alcoholic version. So just check down in the link below and you will see where we get our vanilla. So now I will mix it all up. Okay, it is ready to go in the oven. The secret with granola is the length of time you cook it. A normal temperature, you will have it burning around the edges and it will not get done. So you cook this at the lowest your oven will go, between 180 and 200, and you can cook it for six to eight hours. You'll wanna try it in your oven and, and um, to determine what is best in your oven, but it can go for six to eight hours. Sometimes you can do it overnight. Many times at home, I will put it on at like 10 in the evening and turn it off five the next morning. If you want to put raisins or dates or dried pineapple in there, you will do that after it's done baking. So now we're going to pour it onto our trays. So as you can see, it is very simple to make granola. It is ready to go in the oven in about six to eight hours. It will be ready, ready to enjoy. And this can last several weeks at your house. At our house, it doesn't last long. We, we really enjoy this recipe, so. Okay, so this is an electric oven, so I want to set it to 185, and we will put the granola in the oven. Okay. Enjoy it as a cereal, as a snack, or whatever you, you however you like to enjoy granola. Hope you have enjoyed this recipe and hope that you will go home and make it for yourself.
Have a great day.